All right, here's another out the back door finish when my arm gets caught and I can't do that finish we just worked. Okay. So I'm coming here, post, slide through, I end up here. Now, sometimes your partner's gonna hook your shoulder. Don't go too hard with it though, Ben, all right? So sometimes you're gonna, your shoulder's gonna get hooked and you can't reach. See why I can't reach this ankle anymore? When I'm in this position, I'm gonna swim through. So I'm gonna let go with the right leg and, and bring my body through the middle, okay? Once I'm here, I'm just gonna continue to pressure back into him. Be careful though, you don't wanna get rolled. You can add some hands to post if you need to. Get my legs free. And then I'm looking to reach my right hand into his hip back here. So I'm in this position. All right, a lot of times there's some vari variability here, but what I'm looking to do is reach back into his hip pocket and rotate right in. And I'm keeping a lot of weight on my knees. So I'm sitting back just so you can't funk roll me. And I'll rotate here and get my takedown. All right. So you come out the back door here, right? For some reason, they got your arm hooked. You can't reach through. So you're going to let go with your right hand and you're going to come right through this way. As you're doing this, secure the legs um, just so they don't kick free. So I'm kind of holding these a little bit tight, grabbing a piece of them. Now I'm going to lean back. All right. I'll step my foot free here. All right, my right hand looks to go back and do his hip. All right, and the way you turn, it doesn't matter too much, but I think you have a higher probability of scoring if you turn towards this direction. So see how his head is over here? I like to turn the opposite way. So when I'm here, I'm turning away from his head, this direction, give him my takedown. 